Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch the Dr. Stone special feature to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. Those of you who have already watched this, you know that majority of this special feature is just like recaps from season 1, which I've already made like 20 plus videos on, so I'm not going to like repeat everything that I've already said before, but towards the end of this, we do get to see some new technology that Senku has developed, and an insight to what season 2 is going to be like. They bring up a really good point here about uh, gymnastics and like how effective it is really. It's I mean, besides the fact that they're jumping from trees like Naruto, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But one thing to mention here is the advancement of kinesiology and how it applies to athletics today. Kinesiology is a study of body movement, and what we can see here is how effectively a trained gymnast can behave when it comes to someone who's just learned through, like, just moving and like foraging for food, essentially like living in a stone world, it's very, very different because with the knowledge of medicine and athletics we have today, we can push our athletes much further to see what the human body is capable of because we've really narrowed down like the diet you need to eat and the way to exercise and how to rest, how to effectively train without injuring yourself. All of these things came with time. And if you're in a stone world, there's no knowledge about like how to get stronger, faster, it, like it, all you really know is like run kind of every day. It's, there's not enough information about how to train in order to actually push yourself to the point where you become like a capable athlete. <laughs> That is the most primitive flash grenade I've ever seen. It's, I mean, I, I understand that I'm watching Dr. Stone, right? But it's literally just a light bulb. Like, like you can clearly see it coming. I, well, I guess, like, I don't know. I suppose, like, as a gymnast, that, that girl would never actually know what a flash grenade looks like. But, I mean, this is... Senku's really creative because I, I don't know how if I could have come up with something like that. Most grenades are rigged for a time delay for safe <laughs> for safety. I mean, for the safety of the person who's throwing it, not the one who's receiving it, obviously. The other type of grenade is an impact grenade, where it actually doesn't explode until it makes contact with something else. And those aren't usually, like, thrown, because if people have actually tried to throw impact grenades, and what'll usually happen is they'll just explode while they're in your hand and you're tossing it. But now they're mostly used for landmines or in grenade launchers, where they have, like, different, like, ways of actually, like, launching this thing. It's, it's a whole different level of engineering, but what Senku has right now is a time delay flash grenade. When Senku throws it really high in the air and then he pulls out that wire, that's the equivalent of pulling out the safety pin. And now I don't know what's exactly inside of there, but if I had to guess, it's most likely he's got a bunch of capacitors that are just all lined up in series. And the moment he pulls that safety pin, he's completing the circuit. And all that power just floods the light bulb and it just creates the, the most bright, light and that's what it emits a flash that no one in the stone world has ever seen and people from their age have probably never experienced. The reason flash grenades work has to do with how our eyes process light. When you have such a bright light that's in contrast to what you have around you, your eyes get overloaded with stimulation and your natural like reaction is to close your eyes so that you don't injure yourself. But these flash grenades are going to work most effectively at night when there's no light around you. If you just use it during the day, like it'll still have the same effect because it's much brighter than the light around you, but it won't be nearly the same. So, and I know that Senku, like given the technology he has access to, he won't be able to create a bright enough light to have an effective like flash grenade during the day, but since they're here at night, even like a, a small, a small uh, light at night is going to be much more effective than like a medium or large one during the day. クロムたちを追っかけるホムラちゃんを逆に僕らが追っかけるってこと？難しい。科学のびっくりドッキリアイテム。最終兵器のレベル3が被服な。ロイトで照らしたとこに光のマークなんだよ。さて時間ねえん
I've talked in a previous like episodes and videos I've done on Dr. Stone about fluorescence and that's exactly the principle he's showing right now like that that giant like cannon of a light that he has in his hand is a uv light and he's using that to see all the fluorescence uh, from like pretty much what was on his hand was a bunch of minerals that he grinded up and then he put that on um i forgot like the the pink girl i forgot her name like he puts on like the pink girl's like shoes and like as she's like hopping around in the snow she's leaving a trail of like fluorescent minerals that he can just shine a uv light on and that's how he's going to track her all the way down to wherever she's going fluorescence is essentially where you shine light on an object and that'll excite the electrons and then once you remove the light or once that like source of light stops the electrons will go all the way back down to their ground energy levels and as they release energy they're releasing it in the form of light and that light is what we see as fluorescence senku already has like fluorescent minerals like we saw for tungsten for example that's what he showed it in like in the first initial episodes where i explained the concept in a little bit more detail so he doesn't really matter which like minerals you use as long as they display fluorescence which a lot of them do and we saw he has them all uh you can like track her anywhere she goes until those particles wear off or there's like there's none left on her this is not like crazy amazing technology either actually it's so common and so widely used that there's actually a company i don't know why i know this but there's actually a company that they use it to like detect rodents <laughs> like they'll actually set up like a little like thing where like mice and rats walk into and then they'll get like their hands feet and bellies all covered up in this like like uh, fluorescent like um like minerals or substances and they'll walk back to their nest and then some guy will shine like a uv light and they'll follow the trail that the rat or the mouse takes back to where they came from so they can like find out where their nest is it's like again i'm i'm not sure where i have that information from but i know like it's exactly what he's doing right now but instead of tracking a rat he's tracking that girl making a uv light is very very easy you can actually make one with just your iphone or smartphone flashlight if you want to and like how you would do that is there's actually a bunch of videos on youtube showing you how to as well you just take two pieces of tape and then on one piece of tape like, and make sure you're covering your uh, the camera flash with it on one piece of tape just draw like red color and then on cover that with a second piece of tape and then just draw blue over that and then you just shine it using your flashlight wherever you want to and that is exactly how the uv light will activate it's just a regular white light with a red and blue filter so that's exactly what senku has and like i don't know why that's that's so big like maybe because like his batteries are giant so he has no way of like compressing it but that's a huge lens and i, I don't know what red or blue filters he's putting over the actual um, white light that's being produced from the flashlight but that's it, it's not a difficult thing to make it's actually quite easy so that's I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I cannot wait for season 2 of Dr. Stone to come out in January. And until then, if there are any other anime, movie, TV shows, or anything else you want me to watch and commentate over and like technology to break down, just go ahead and put it in the comments and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.